What? Wait. Tragedy at Hope's Peak. Even though you were marked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate Hope. How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? That would make sense. And Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last minute plot twists. <laughs> Could it be created hope? Could it be created hope? It. Damn it. Created hope. Good Hold on. Had a talent all hope cultivation plan. How can someone What was the hope cultivation plan about? Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's what I need. Such an amazing in order to hide it. Was he hidden in the in Hajime's there's no doubt I've always had that name. Then Izuru is your Hey, you weren't I do not want any Could it be created hope? That must be it. Created hope. Are you talking about the Hope Cultivation Plan? Hope Cultivation Plan? What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. And called it, the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? The heck? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. That's true. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See, didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. After many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. <laughs> Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, how'd you make it out of here? He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. 
He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions, thoughts, hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, <coughs> he'll disappear. All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope's Peak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Disappear. I'm gonna disappear. Disappear. Disappear, disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. disappear. There's no way we're actually getting an intermission after a two hour. But, no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm, really? I don't really understand, but... Uh, I guess we're gonna part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to be getting along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent... Your thoughts. Your entire existence is boring to me. Ah, <sighs> you really don't play along, do ya? Dang! Hajime? Was that me? No. That's, that's not me! That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Dang. Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do. I already know how I can be saved. I see. I, see. I just need to choose graduate. I just need to choose graduate then. Huh? huh? In that case. The Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. Hold on. You can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Juko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the future foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the future foundation to sacrifice themselves for the alternate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at I all. I might have messed up. That's not it. What we're saying is... We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> 
can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love, there won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're just telling them to deal with that. At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. Jeez, this is getting clouded. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. Um, what shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? If everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Pekko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, the Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! Oh no. I'm not getting any... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Junko escapes to the real world. There will be countless victims again. Uh-oh. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Uh-oh. Such No! No! Why do we have to choose? Did I? Huh? I can't do it. Huh? C can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that? I can't decide. I can't... Choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This... This is just too much! Why do I... Why do I have to be a part of this? I mean... I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so... I got dragged into this. And now... My existence is going to disappear? <laughs> 
don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. I definitely messed up. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? I definitely messed up. Burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Oh shit. Yes. Get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible. For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future. Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem. That's and there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So... Let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever 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 and Oh crap. And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Young master, that is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Juko's gone. Showcase must just leave the BGF. Hey, can I take a what to be awed by the sight of? I've prepared you. And <laughs> Should I begin with a break? <laughs> After Shit. all this time, what was this again? Oh well, no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. All right, again. and with this, the world will an eternal game utopia sounds like fun. What am I doing? And with this, the world will an eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. Your master. Yay! Yes, there's And with this, Junko. All right! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the BG- Hey, can I take- What to be odd by the- I've prepared you a- <laughs> Should I begin with- <laughs> After all this time? That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? And with this, the world an eternal game. I guess it's fine to stick your master. Yay! Yes, there's And with this, Junko. All right! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the BG- Hey, can I take- What to be odd by the- I've prepared you <laughs> Should I begin with- <laughs> After all this time? That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? What? Continue to loop. An eternal game, Utopia. This world. There it is. Holy crap. This is like throwing me in like five different directions. Making like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? What's going on? Oh my god. How are you? I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Yaki? Is that you? Why are you here? Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because 
You should have already disappeared. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? <clears throat> There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. Mixed up in all this stuff, I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. Isn't that messed up? Hey, you don't want that either, right? And if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... Probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified. Of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Damn, Chiaki's out here being like, no, guys, you need to do this correctly. Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be all right. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Ichiaki. Can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. And you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> If I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. B but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime. This isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then. It's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on. I'll help out too. Help? Whoa! No talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. This is me. This is really me. I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? 
I only sacrifice myself. What the hell? I have no talent at all. This is insanity. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm assuming I'm doing good, but I don't know. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can beat Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. Shit. I got it. I know what I'm supposed to do. This is me. This is really me. So uncool. So totally uncool. I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the Academy. I don't want to disappear. I'm not easy to overcome. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated. There's no way we can beat Junko. Even so, it's the Future Foundation's fault. Even so, not mine. Even so, I... Holy frick. No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future, even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. That reminds me. I forgot to say it again. world of despair the tragedy will start once again i want to see echo one more time if we turn back into ultimate despair we might be killed by the future foundation right this is your responsibility since you're the ones who fell to despair it's not my responsibility it's the future foundations they're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking. You can't lose hope. If the memories we made here disappear, I will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair. You can't lose hope! If the memories we made here just I will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of the tragedy will start what I want to see Becca one day. If we turn back into we might be killed by the This is your response. This is like solitaire? <laughs> but like once you complete it. No, that's wrong. Just be hope. There will probably be a lot of despair too. I don't know what kind of future awaits us. But our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Huh? Who the hell are you? I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. <laughs> Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata! Hmm. 
Rebuttal showdown? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, that's probably not that bad if it's just one thing. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Let's finish this already. There's no need for you to chew. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up! If you do that, this game, if you don't want that, just turn off the game! Even so, I... You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I'll never let anyone choose again! Oh, PTA. Oh, jeez. It's gonna be like 180. I have a feeling. Oh my god, I was right! Oh, my clothes like Jesus. choice to make there's no way i'll allow things to end this way the future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that let's leave this place with confidence and from there we can just create it on our own the future that we want what are you saying there's no way something that convenient is going to happen it wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened this isn't a game we can change the future as much as we want even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. We're getting that music again. We just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? <clears throat> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but I just, I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment, I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. The one who shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then... There's no way we can stop now. Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out. But... I... I heard her voice. In fact, I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Man, this sure is getting annoying again. If you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. You... you all... why? Why? How... how can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is this?! Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Let's 
get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. Oh, it's not his back! With her wand and everything. <laughs> Dang. This is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? Uh, but I guess I no longer, I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. <laughs> Is just so hopeless. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future. Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is... Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. <laughs> So this is the end. But it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. And I can't help but feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. 
I finally said it. How are we gonna get an epilogue? We had one last time. We very well could. Me too. Thank you. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Because we're all friends after all. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Are we gonna get an epilogue or no? There's so much. Obtained the present. The giant cell phone. Yes, we're gonna save. Last time it was like a five minute epilogue, so. And so, the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, and with sheer irrationality. It is about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Hope Speak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small, it doesn't have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, and not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Hey, Makoto. Is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. It's so crazy that they're, like, definitely more grown up. Like, they're supposed to be more grown up. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. <clears throat> At least Kyoko definitely is. In their eyes, that is the future. Byakuya is, too, admittedly. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair, and they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. <laughs> huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Who else are we about to get? We're about to get somebody else. Let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the future foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something. <laughs> 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 so 
about to be Telco, isn't it? Let's go. We must create our own futures too. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. Oh, we're going to get to see their side, too. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. And we're gonna have the hair too. Oh no, we're not. Ooh, interesting. My future lies here. Epilogue: The day before the future. What are we about to... We're not about to see anything. That's it. Oh. Okay. Well. This. Ultimate Swindler. Why do I not remember that? Anyway. Oh, Ultimate Swindler is the... Um, never mind. I never... That's what I remember. Okay. Holy hell. Okay. Diosuke! <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. This second game was definitely intense in a lot of manners and had such a crazy story to it that I don't even know, like, what to say, right? Because there was, the, there was definitely a lot thicker of a plot, and I appreciated that to a high degree. Having Biaka, Biakia, Kyoko, and our freaking Makoto being part of this was awesome as well. Um, obviously, uh, our three stands from the first game, having them come back was great. Um, one thing I will say is the cast that made it to the end, I would say other than Fuyuhiko and of course main character, where eh, there was definitely a lot better people that I would have loved to make it to the end. Um, but again, that's not necessarily a game. We're speaking of a character that I would love to make it to the end. Hi, Mahiru. Um, it's definitely more of a personal thing. It's not necessarily a story thing. Because story-wise, it made sense to keep a couple of like, the Sonya. If, if you're going to keep Sonya alive, you have to keep Kazuichi alive. And that makes sense from a story perspective. Um, the whole Nagito situation. Honestly, that is what throws me for the biggest of loop. Because Nagito did not necessarily... His reason for killing became more unfolded and more unhinged. The fact that he literally tried to wipe out despair by killing all but the AI. Because he knew that that we were all still despair, and we he knew what was going on, is very admirable, and in a weird way, the way that he decided to, you know, do what he did, um, is even more insane. Um, I definitely liked Makoto better as a main character, uh, for sure, than Hajime. But then there was a couple characters that were awesome. I mean, like, in each cast, I think, because we're going to go to the third game, too, and that's, like, the final game in the series. So, but each cast so far has had, like, a couple greats and a couple duds. The, I think the difference is that my greats made it all the way last time, which is contrary to a lot of situations. Chiaki, if for example, the, the Chiaki... Gave, had all my trust and all of my stuff the whole way. Um, even when it was like revealed that she was the traitor, she was still had my trust. Um, and I think that was a big help is the fact that I trusted Chiaki. Because there, I'm sure that there are people that would be sus of Chiaki and what she's doing. How does she know all of this? Yada, yada, yada. 
that's understandable suspicion that I just went whoop, off the plate. Um, but yeah, I, I liked this game a lot as well. There was a lot of throw, like throw me across the freaking room type situations. And that makes for a good story. This was the first ever series that I started recording in the new house. So that also has a special attachment to it. I think it actually is the first this might end up being and probably will be the first series that ends at the new house um in terms of like a series like that so that's kind of a cool endearing thing for me as well um it's between this and persona 5 i think um of course pokemon yellow soul link as well will be close to ending i'm assuming by this point which is insane to think about um, but yeah, I mean, it has definitely been a crazy game. I do wish that certain, so, uh, social links, wrong game, wish that certain hopes would have been locked behind and locked, like, not as locked. For example, Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko is definitely a character that I would have wanted to interact with more, but the fact that I literally have to spend every single freaking free time with Fuyuhiko in order to max him out, I feel like is kind of a miss um in my opinion i it's like because he opens up a chapter four he doesn't talk to you in chapter one he wants to be alone chapter two um i can't remember what happens in chapter two to be admitted oh chapter two he's doing his like murder like plot thing and then chapter three he's literally in the hospital so literally can't talk to him until chapter four and you have one, two, three, four, five, six free time events. So you ha you literally have to spend all the time. So I kind of I I do kind of feel like that's a miss. Jeez, I'm not. But that is really the biggest miss I would say is that. Um, other than that, I would say that like I said, as far as the links go, that's fine. I mean the Nagito thing and not being able to complete. Um, our boy, um, Nekamaru in the flesh was a little upsetting because of that. Uh, we had a, a moment that where I went to go see Nagito literally block, blocks off the thing. So anyways, besides that, I had a really fun time recording this series. It definitely was a lot, definitely played a lot more in terms of game time hours than I expected. It was only supposed to be a 29 hour series. Um, uh, yeah, it wasn't. We, uh... It was more than that, which I love. The fact that it was supposed to be, like, I think a 29 or 33-hour game. One of the two. It might have been 33. And it was, like, a 60-episode uh, series, which is insane. But it's lovely that it was like that. Anyways, again, um, we're obtaining all these presents. You have obtained the Usami stamp. Obtain the Danganronpa IF. There it is. Okay, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching the series. I loved it a lot. I can't wait to get to Danganronpa V3. Um, that is going to come at you in a little bit. I'll give it some time because you guys need some time to recover from this freaking thing. Um, but yeah, love you guys again. And I appreciate you guys every single time. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!